Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to another episode of Leave It to Baker. I appreciate you checking out the channel. Here we go again with another one of the Hollywood stories. Uh, however, I'm just going to start out real quick just mentioning something. Um, as many of you know, my wife is from the country of Poland. Uh, what you may not have known is that my grandparents immigrated to America from the country of Ukraine, so I am half Ukrainian. Um, what's taking place there uh, is not right, and I'm not going to give my two cents on that, other than the fact that I hope um, there is a very good outcome. I know there's, I know there's relatives. I don't know who they are. Um, obviously, they're related to my grandparents in, in some fashion. I don't know who they are, and I haven't, I haven't spoken to any of them, but I just hope that, that everything turns out all right in the country of Ukraine with what is happening right now. Other than that, moving on. Um, so today's episode is about people that I've met at the Writers Guild Theater when I was working at the theater. So you get to know some of these people as they come in and, and you know, obviously a lot of them writers, some actors, um, some people, for instance, uh, Carl Gottlieb, who wrote uh, The Jerk and Jaws. Um, he was Writers Guild secretary for a while. And so he would come in quite often and, and we actually had a, a talk about the movie Jaws. And it's really cool, you know, to, to sit down and talk with people who've come up with influential movies like Jaws. Um, trying to think who else. Uh, well, actually, uh, David Lander, um, if you don't know who that is, he played Squiggy on um, Laverne and Shirley. And now he passed away in December of 2020. Uh, we had already moved here to Colorado, so um, I didn't get to see him. Uh, I'm trying to think the last time I saw him was probably in, probably about this time, maybe January, February of 2020, earlier that year, um, when the guild was still open and we were, you know, still were in full business mode. <laughs> um, but he was a good guy. Uh, got to talk to him often. Uh, he was a big Pirates fan, a big uh, Pittsburgh Pirates fan. We talked baseball. Uh, nice guy, nice guy. Um, I'm trying to think who else here. Um, hmm. I know that I spoke with um, the original creator of the Brady Bunch, and that's Sherwood Schwartz. And I had a picture, actually. I don't know where I'd found it, but I had a picture of the Brady Bunch standing on the stairs, and I gave it to him, had him sign it. And then my goal was to uh, have a bunch of the actors sign the rest of that picture, and I got a bunch of them to sign it. In fact, I had... It's kind of a funny story. So <laughs> I sent off um, the picture, and I think I already had four actors that had signed it. And I sent it from the Writers Guild, and I think it was not Barry Williams, but um, uh, Peter, the boy who played Peter. I had sent it to him and it was gone. I didn't see it for three months. I didn't see it for six months. I didn't see it for eight months. I realized at that point, it's probably missing. It's gone, lost in the mail. About a year and a half later, I get a phone call at the Writers Guild. I had a writer's guild, and they said, yes, is there a Matthew Baker there? And I said, yeah, that's me, I'm Matthew Baker. And they said, oh, I'm, but my name is so-and-so, and I work at this talent agency, and I have something that was a Christopher Knight, just popped in my head. I have something from Christopher Knight um, that is yours, and it's sitting on a pile, it was at the bottom of the pile, and I'm sorry, I apologize, but it's been there for quite some time. So are you still at the Writers Guild? And I said, yeah. And they said, well, can we send it to you? And I go, yeah, that was a year and a half ago. I completely forgot about it. They sent it to me, and sure enough, he had signed it, and uh, it was at the, their office there, and they completely forgot to give it to me. So that was really funny. Um, so I came across... Uh, a box, it's not really a box, it's like a, I'm gonna show you here in a second, it's like a like a zipper bag of an old uh, comforter. But I found like a whole bunch of autograph stuff and it's got the Brady Bunch stuff, but it's got some other stuff too. So I wanna show you, check this out here. 
So I popped this open, and actually, this is this is kind of cool too. Let's see here. So these are a lot here. I'm going to set this over here. These are a lot of the uh, the premieres that I went to. Um, this was premiere for Sin City. All right, here's. Didn't even realize that I had this on here. Robert Rodriguez. He had signed that for me at the premiere, Sin City. <laughs> I'm looking at these and I was like, wait a minute, he signed that. Oh, forgot about that. <laughs> All right. Uh, this was premiere for Valkyrie. Uh, AMC, let's see, when was that? December, mid two. Um, this was premiere for Milk. And Sean Penn was there. You know, obviously, obviously with these premieres, um, people, the actors, the producers, directors, everybody was there. Let me see. Oh, and this, this went with it. And November 13th, Academy of Motion Pictures, which was right down the street from the Writers Guild. This was, this is kind of cool because it was like this hard plastic, guess who? Um, and that was at the Grauman's Chinese Theater, famous Grauman's Chinese Theater. It's not focusing. There it is. Um, got a chance to uh, see at uh, at the popcorn counter. It was um, it was uh, Demi Moore. She was there because she was with him, and so that was kind of cool. Let me see. Uh, Closer. This was a good movie. This was 2004. Man Village Theater, and then. Um, can I, my assistant is trying to help me here. Thank, thank you, assistant. <laughs> um, this one is for uh, Avatar, and it was followed with a Q&A with uh, James Cameron. Actually, I met James Cameron. He was at our theater. I'm going to add that photo of me and James. Yeah, this is, uh, this picture here is of us um, at the Writers Guild Theater, but I can't remember what it was for. It may have been for Avatar. Gosh, I can't remember. I'm telling you, all these things just kind of blend together after a while. Um, this was at the Arclight um, for Mongol. God, I don't even remember Mongol. What the hell was that movie about? Genghis Khan. God, I don't even remember that. Jeez. Anyway, um, so here's uh, here's some of the autograph stuff. Here, This is cool. This is, uh, I met Ray Harryhausen before he passed. Um, as you know, Ray, he was uh, the, in I guess you can say the inventor of stop motion photography. To Matt, live your dreams. Well, that's what I'm attempting to do. It's living my dreams. Um, I've got, uh, I've got some leave it to beaver stuff. I've got, uh, oh yeah, Alec Guinness. Who's he? Who's he? Obi-Wan Kenobi. Oh. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, you played Obi-Wan Kenobi. Um, I oh, I do have some Brady Bunch stuff. Oh, why, thank you. You're doing a wonderful job. You can keep it right like that. I'm going to have to pay you, huh? Okay, yeah. so this was for the premiere at our theater. This was for... What movie? Was, oh, Good Night and Good Luck. Um, with George Clooney and uh, he was there and I got I got him to sign that for me if that's actually gonna show up he's a very famous actor George Clooney um, got to talk to him about radio and television because my dad was in it um, Woody Allen was actually there I got him to sign that it was this was actually one of our written by magazines and it was sitting on the desk and Woody Allen was there for a Q&A, and I just uh, I handed it to him and said, Hey, can you sign this for me? He said, Sure, no problem. And actually, it's got him like signing something, which is kind of funny. Um, and then Bill Condon, um, he was a director, directed uh, Dreamgirls. We had, uh, we had something at our theater for Dreamgirls. Um, I think that's pretty much it for some of the autograph stuff. So what I was mentioning before was, and it mentions this in the beginning, who did I know that was a friend of mine? And it turns out that uh, I had gone to, when I first was living in Irvine, I went to a um, kind of like a sci-fi show and it was in Burbank. And as I walked up, 
there was a gentleman who was sitting at a table and I knew he looked familiar, but I didn't really know who he was. And then of course he had all his stuff laid out on the table. Turns out it was Glenn Shaddix. Glenn Shaddix played, um, if you remember, uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, he played the voice of the mayor. Um, he was also in the movie Beetlejuice. If you remember Beetlejuice, he was the interior designer. So he had his stuff out. I got to talking with him as <clears throat> as I did quite often with everybody. I just talk with people. And um, he was a really nice guy. And, and he had said, you know, you've got a look that might be good for television. I don't know if it was just something he was trying to, you know, trying to push over on me, but it was really nice about it. And he's like, hey, I'm going to give you a phone number of an acting studio that maybe you might want to look into. Well, um, I did look into it. And I eventually, like I mentioned in an earlier vlog, it was um, Ivana Chubbuck studio. And I got into that studio and I studied there for a while. And I had thanked him. Um, I had gotten back to uh, Glenn because I think he gave me his email. I got back to him, found out he lived right in Studio City, which was like a couple blocks from where I lived. So um, we became kind of friends, you know. I, uh, I would uh, go over to his place when he had uh, garage sales. Um, we would send text messages. Hey, how's it going? How you doing? How are things? Um, and then he had sent me a message in, I think it was March of the year he had passed. Um, if you didn't know, he had passed on. Um, no, no, I actually, I sent him a message um, because he had moved, um, he had moved to, I think like Tennessee or someplace. And I said, hey, w there's a show out here. It's a, like an actor show. I said, you should come out. Maybe they'll get together and, and do like a Beetlejuice thing. I said, maybe we can get some people together for the, for the show. And he said, yeah, that sounds like a great idea. Get back to me. And um, about a month or so later, he had passed. So, unfortunately, I didn't get to see him again, but, uh, <clears throat> God, my voice is really raspy. Um, anyway, that's, that's somebody that I knew uh, pretty closely. He was a friend of mine, um, and he was a good guy. I miss that guy. Um, I guess that's it for this vlog. I appreciate you checking it out. Uh, I will check you out on the next one. I don't know what that one's going to be. It may have something to do with J-Lo. All right. Talk to you soon. Thanks again for checking it out. We'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Hey, you know what? I actually forgot something I wanted to show you. Um, I had mentioned that I was Ukrainian. I'm half Ukrainian. Um, I don't think you guys have ever seen this, but I'm going to show you here real quick. I got this done a few years ago. This is in Ukrainian. And it says, don't be afraid of life, take some chances. And so that's what I'm doing. I'm taking chances. And you guys are on this ride with me. So I appreciate it. And uh, love you guys. We'll see you in the next one.